I thought I knew everything when I was a young gun. That's why I dropped out of school at 15. <laughs> Starting out in rock and roll as a teeny bopper, I was going into overdrive and I was going to be an overnight success. But now as an old rocker, I know for sure that... Oh, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. <laughs> Did you hear about the 81-year-old uh, the athletics coach? Uh, her name was uh, Nancy Atterton. She's 81. 81, right? Anyway, but what she's done, she's changed her, her emphasis and she's helping out uh, young athletes and they are getting the benefit from her experience. Now, experience is the op operative word here. Um, and she was on TV and she was uh, talking about her latest star uh, sprinting coach, Josh Clark, 20 years old. And he said, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her and her experience. Anyway, Josh is going to Rio in the Rio Olympics and he's so thrilled to be going. And uh, it, he says that uh, he wouldn't be there if, if it wasn't for her experience. You know, if only you could put an old head on a young body. Good afternoon, Chairperson, Adjudicators, ladies and gentlemen, members of the audience. You've just heard the affirmative team claim that youth is a wonderful thing. It's a crime to waste it on the young. Well, we're here to convince you that this is a bunch of rubbish. <laughs> now, you may know of the guy who said it was a crime to waste youth on the young. Bernard Shaw, Irish novelist, playwright and critic, right? Well, when he made that claim about youth, he was pretty old. <laughs> no disrespect. We all know that old people aren't always great at remembering stuff. <laughs> And youth is apparently wasted on us. Nice joke there, guys. Real funny. <laughs> youth? Wonderful? We don't think so. No one takes you seriously when you're youthful. Adults think of you as naive, sometimes stupid, and your independence doesn't mean that much. A quote my dad uses is, you've still got so much to learn. <laughs> While this may be true, he himself still has a lot to learn. When you're young, you are physically and socially awkward, as well as uncomfortable, and sometimes it can be painful and embarrassing. Think back for a moment to your own adolescence. You might remember waking up one day and discovering that your arms and legs had somehow grown 20, 25 centimetres. Oops, for you seniors, that's about 12 inches. Firstly, because of our age, we recognise the limit of a resource and the limited opportunity of the life of an opportunity. Youth, in its blissful ignorance, believes resources and opportunities are limitless. During my youth, if I knew what I know now, I would have dealt with the opportunities differently. Like the opportunity to stay single, <laughs> I could explore that one a little further. Enthusiasm is just a waste. It's a waste on youth. I wish I had more enthusiasm. I need it now. I need the enthusiasm now just to get out of bed. I wasted it. I could have done more. I, I could do with some more just to get my feet on the floor in the morning and I have so much more to achieve in a day and it's a really sad story. Fitness. Fitness is something... Don't, don't start me on fitness. What a waste on my younger years. You do not need to be fit to lay in a bed for 12 hours. <laughs> after 2 a.m. finishes that achieve nothing except for a hangover and some regrets. You know, youth sucks because <laughs> juggling my school life and my family is really hard. For example, my cousins came up this weekend and all my free time was wasted on entertaining them. <laughs> all of it. Instead of getting up at 8 o'clock, on the weekend, all nice and energised, I had to get up at seven and get up, get dressed, and get going to the beach. <laughs> and you know what? I don't. I personally don't really like my cousins. <laughs> you remember we had that lesson about debating? 
Okay. <laughs> Our first speaker, you were supposed to introduce the uh, the discipline of, of yeah. debating and uh, the topic. Uh, did you do any of that? Well, what, what case it? No. <laughs> you just went on about rock and roll. This yeah. isn't a debate, a debate about rock and roll, son. It's a debate about what a crime it is that youth is wasted on the young. Well, it is, it is, it's a crime. Wasted? I can see that your youth's been wasted. <laughs> Second speaker, you were supposed to build on the arguments of the first speaker. Put that away. <laughs> Ram home our other arguments and rebut the opposition's points. Oh, well, well, what did you do? <laughs> you went on about yourself. It's all you girls seem to think about. You were supposed to stick to the plan. Where's your discipline? When I went to school, there was discipline. Plenty of it. And if you didn't have discipline, they disciplined you. <laughs> Youth today can do with a good dose of discipline. Good afternoon, adjudicators, chairperson, and members of the audience. Oh, I almost forgot. Pensioners. If youth is so wonderful, then how come we don't have a special day for just youth? We've got a grandparents' day at school, a mother's day, a father's day, even a whole week for you seniors. <laughs> we, the negative team, still resolutely believe that youth is really not wonderful and that it lasts long beyond the old traditional ideas about youth. How many of you have grandchildren, or perhaps even great-grandchildren, well into their 20s, who still live at home, enjoying none of the amazing privileges of adulthood? Furthermore, we firmly assert that it cannot be a crime to waste youth on the young, because we need all of our youthful energy just to endure its horrors. <laughs> While at the same time, we have to make adults' lives easier. Gosh. Youth, wonderful. Youth, wasted on the young. That sounds like something an old fool like Donald Trump would say. I know you've probably heard this a hundred times, but yes, I see the youth, the rest of Australia, or the future of Australia being in good hands we've got clear thinkers and speakers like you three. Very good, very good. <laughs> now on behalf of uh, you three, hey, once again, I'd like to thank particularly the Lumen Christi uh, Catholic College community for being part of today's event. Uh, it's been uh, great fun, actually. <laughs> and um, I, it's, it's great that uh, everybody, I think, has had a laugh from it. Thank you very, very, very much for attending.